Well, hey there, folks, and welcome back once again to the Hop House. Eddie here, and it's beer review time. It's virgin beer review time. Yes, that means I'm going to have a beer right now that I've never had it before. And I'm going to share it the first time with you lovely people. Uh, I tell you what, if I'm brand new to you, so you've never seen me before, do me a favour. Thumbs up on the video, like, share, subscribe this channel. Go on, help us out. It's the Hop House. It's the Hop House. I went right Yorkshire then, didn't it? It's the Hop House. You know what? I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to keep going. Right, do you want to see what we're going to review today? Okay, so uh, this is from the last little craft beer festival that we had. So it was uh, last month, October 2021. I managed to pop to Little and get some of the beers from the craft beer range. And this is on the dark side. No idea why my voice went like that then. So this is a brand new beer to me, brand new brewery to me. And it was available in Lidl for the first time. I'll just show you. So it is from Donkey Stone Brewery, they're called? Donkey Stone Brewing. Madagascar Vanilla Stout. It looks quite similar to... It looks very similar in its style to another brewery that I've come across. I just can't think, can't think off the top of my head who they are. This is Donkey Stone Brewing though, and they're based uh, in the Saddleworth area, sort of Oldham, uh, Rochdale, Saddleworth area, Saddleworth Moor. If you know Saddleworth Moor, being from Yorkshire, it's the back where you go to Manchester to so the M62. You go over Saddleworth Moor. Uh, so yeah, it's around that area. This was in Lidl for £1.79, I believe it is. Uh, and it is their vanilla stout coming in at 5%. It says so there, but it's really small writing and the camera's not going to pick it up. Yeah, it looks very looks very chocolatey, doesn't it? It's a vanilla stout, that's what it says. 5% ABV. Should we get it out into the glass? Um, first time for Donkey Stone to be in these little craft beer festivals. Uh, and I think a quite a, a few people have said they've not really come across them before. So this could really be a introduction. I'm hearing the hissing from the can. Could be a good introduction to this brewery, to uh, the gen general populace. So we've got it in the Hobgoblin glass. 5% stout. It's very hissy and fizzy. Almost sounds like Coca Cola. And the uh, the head's disappeared very quickly. Let me jig it about a bit and see if I can get some more head revival. I've just washed this glass out. I washed it up. I did some washing up earlier. So I don't know if that's why the head's disappeared. I don't know. But yeah, it looks like it looks like a flat coke, doesn't it? It's it's very thin in terms of a stout. It is quite thin. Um, looks more like a mild or something. Uh, really, no head there whatsoever. Right, let's let's get some aroma, shall we? We're going to put that in there. Let's give it a whiff. See what we can sniff. Get in the vanilla. Sorry, my tap's dripping. See if I can stop it from dripping. I've got a drippy tap all of a sudden. I don't know why. No, I'm not going to stop it, so I apologise if you hear my tap dripping in background. We'll carry on. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of roasted malt, some vanillas there, and a bit of chocolate as well. Just definitely smell vanilla-y and chocolatey. Doesn't smell bad, it just looks like flat coke. Yeah. Smells uh, decent enough, uh, I suppose. Could it be a, a real additive -y, sugary additive -y stout rather than a roasted malt job? Here we go. I'm getting a bit of uh, getting a bit of head revival. Stand more. Trying to do it without actually. Concent you can't believe how much concentration I'm putting into this. In fact, this is making great viewing. Yeah, there's not really much head there, is it? Right, should we should we should we delve in there? Bottoms up down the hatch. It 
it is very thin tasting for a stout as well come on get some head come on baby give me some head baby bit of a lace division as well for you there trying to get it to lace nicely it's lacing okay but it's not anything spectacular smells a bit I can almost smell the fizz like it's a bit of carbonation fizzy smelling as well almost like a bit soda pop gum type smell I am getting more roasted malt though now the more I'm jigging it about the more I jig 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 in the glass yeah I'm getting the like the burnt not burnt but you know like roasted sort of toasty smell it's, it is a thin mouthfeel I'm still trying to get it to do something it's it's really quite a thin mouthfeel it's sort of a bit fizzy and a bit thin that vanilla in the smell is sort of there in the taste it doesn't make it particularly sweet stout because it's not but the the fizziness along with the the fizziness along with how, how do I explain it? Hang on, stand by. Yeah, that vanilla goes down the middle of the tongue for the sweetness, and then the fizziness. I do equate it to being a bit like Coke got like a coca-cola taste that goes down the side of your tongue is that supposed to replicate the hops um it's not great i'm not liking that much at all actually really can't get a head out of it The vanilla in the smells there. It's like a really thin taste. It's got that fizzy essence that down the side of the tongue and some tang with it. And the tang is got the yeah, the vanilla's down the middle of the tongue. But you're not necessarily getting overly like roasted malt you're not necessarily getting um oh, it's really hard to explain i'm eight minutes in and i'm really bamboozled it's like um it tastes like vanilla coke more than it does a stout it's i don't know if that's just me looking at it with my eyes and thinking god it looks like a flat coke it smells smells almost soda pop gunny like like sour beers of that I've done smell um I don't think I want to drink any more of that I'll tell you what one last try I, I, I bet you what if you've just tuned in now you're thinking if you don't like it what the hell are you still drinking it for I'm just I'm really trying I'm trying to explain it on camera what I'm experiencing and it's really it's a difficult one to explain look at that it's flat as pancake Oh, you hold it in your mouth longer more oh, now it tastes like flat coke and even the vanilla's kind of gone out of it now that's I'm not a fan of that that's bizarre I've never had a stout taste like that before um, so we've got some description so-called description here on the side so let's read it so it says a storm is brewing a dark sweet tornado of colliding vanilla hops and black smoky malts clatter together creating the perfect cyclone of subtle chocolate and coffee flavors so ditch the umbrella go outside and be drenched in this decadent vanilla stout madagascar vanilla stout 
Donkey Stone Brewing Company, Wellington Industrial Park, Greenfield, Saddleworth, Oldham, Lancashire. £1.79 it was. I feel like I've been ripped off at that. Um, do you know what? I'm not a brewer, I don't work in the industry. I'm not, I'm not going to have a go at this brewery. Uh, I've not had anything of theirs before. They produce something at a cost, that they, you know, they've all said, well, we sell our beers at this price. So if this is their usual standard, then I probably won't be in a rush to try anything of theirs again. Um, well, when I say usual standard, again, it's opinion based, isn't it? So it's to my taste. But to me, that tastes like a bit of flat Coke. Really don't like the fizziness and the, the, the body's not there for a stout. Look at it. Look, it looks like flat coke. That's going to mop my drains out, I think. That's going down the sink. Um, so thumbs down for me. Don't no, not not a fan. Really disappointed. I thought that'd be quite cool because I really like the look of the can. That's, it's, it was all right till I opened it. Um, if do you know what, I, I always give brewers another chance. If I see something else by Donkey Stone Brewing because I quite like the branding, I probably will pick it up. I'll, I'll give it a whirl. Why not? I'm sure they brew things that are probably more to my taste. That I'd love to say there's probably nothing wrong with this beer, it's not to my taste, but does that look like a stout to you? Oh, broad. Thumbs down. Like, share, subscribe, and we're going to do another review uh, shortly. Stay tuned. Chaff and our people.